If you're a music producer, artist, mixing engineer, songwriter, mastering engineer, and you're tired of jumping between heaps of different applications and software packages, Dropbox, Sampley, DistroKid, Google Docs, your email for contracts, then this software might be your new best friend. Today, I'm gonna run you through Boombox. What is it, who's it for, and the features that I like. Hello, I'm Nick Rollo. I'm a producer and mixing engineer from Australia. I hope you're doing well today. Massive thanks to Boombox for sponsoring the video. And yes, it is a sponsored video, but I actually do really like the software, application, website, whatever you want to call it. And I think that if you are a music producer or any of those other roles that I said, that this software can really benefit you and make your enjoyment of things a little bit better. So let's get into it. So what is Boombox? Basically, Boombox is a merging point between applications like Dropbox, file storage, Sampley, where you can send your music audio to people to listen and leave timestamp comments, DistroKid for distribution, there's contract stuff, which is really cool. Basically, it's like a merging point. What they've done is they've looked at all of these different suites of plugins and websites and applications and merged them together into one thing that artists, songwriters can use to basically run their business better. And there is a lot of stuff. So let's just kind of run through it. I'll go through pretty much all of the features, the ones that I'm using, and just run you through it. Let's check it out. So you log in on the website and you're presented with this. You've got some getting started things that... I'm going to ignore. <laughs> and basically the files and projects area is where you're going to spend a lot of your time if you're running sessions of any form. So I'll click on files. You're just presented with this. You can pretty much just put any folder in there. Think of Dropbox, Google Drive, that kind of thing. Uh, you can upload files, add folder. And interestingly, you can make it a project. And as you can see, that just adds additional features, which we'll dive into in a second. You can have all of your files in here, or you can have them as projects, which is more kind of catered to like releasing music. There's a really cool search feature where you can use AI powered filtering. So BPM, key, mood, pretty much anything you wanna just search by, you can. And that's really helpful if you've got a lot of different beats up, for instance, and you wanna try find a 80 BPM song or a mood because they're all auto tagged, which again, I'll show you in a second. It's got request files, which is really handy. So if we say Nick request, and then I'll be presented with this, and then I can either copy the link or send an email, and then somebody can upload files here for me to grab. Just such a good feature to have, especially if you're like a producer or a mixing engineer and you need to grab stems from people and don't wanna deal with we transfer. And it's conveniently got this little arrow so you know it's a request folder. The way that I kind of use this is just individually I'll have Nick request or Jim request or whoever the artist is. And then that's kind of how we will send each other files. All of these options at the top we can do within a actual file itself. So if I go into the project and I click on incognito mode and then work in progress, basically what I've done is I've gone into my incognito mode Dropbox folder and I just grabbed a few things and I literally just dragged them in and then it keeps all of the like folder hierarchy, which is really handy if you're trying to like migrate across from Dropbox, for instance. So inside of incognito mode and work in progress, whip, <laughs> I've got a few songs. Up here, I can do all of those options that I said before, request files. You can do new lyrics, so hello, and save changes, and then that'll populate as like a lyric file, which is really handy, it kind of gets rid of having to have Google Docs for collaboration. You can record straight into it. This won't work with my current setup just because of my routing, but like if you're on a Mac or a laptop or anything, you could just kind of click it and you'd get something, stop it, save it in there. So just really handy to have that feature available for quickly getting down ideas and keeping them in a kind of cohesive place. We've got AI tools like Chord Generator, which is quite fun, Lyric Assistant, Sample Generator, Stem Splitter, Vocal Remover. The Chord Generator is good. Lo-fi, chubab, dark mood. It does take 10 credits and you get a certain number with different pricing plans, which I'll show you in a second. Nice, you can change the instrument for the top level and then the bass level. It kind of gives you a little description, which I think is fun, and you can refine it as you please. Oh, and I forgot to do before I quit out. When you go save as MIDI, it'll just like populate it inside the folder that you've done it as a MIDI file, which is really cool that you can then drag that into your session. Now for me, I'm not really using things like Lyric Assistant or Sample Generator or really Chord Generator, but 
amazing tools to have if you need them. So this is just the file manager. What you can do is just put in your whole door sessions if you like. So your Studio One or Ableton or Pro Tools, you just put the whole file in here, keep it there kind of cleanly. And then you can do your exports into a project file. So we'll jump over to project. So I'm jumping back. What you'll notice in the files side of things is it's just file management. There's nothing particularly fancy. If we go into projects and then I clicked on incognito mode and I'll go into work in progress and that's the MIDI file that I populated earlier today. And then I go a city build of dreams. What we'll notice is there's now these features up here as well as the ones from before. So files is obviously a file management. Collaborators is really sick. So if you have, like say I'm working on this with you, I can have my collaborators here. I can invite you by email or phone number and give you a role, different access levels. And then inside that I can do splits and generate contracts. This is great. It makes things easier. You can just kind of do it. It's all in one place. It'll be here with all your files. So you don't have to try and figure out where that contract went. These kind of things make your life easier, especially when you're dealing with percentages. It can get kind of confusing, frustrating, and kind of stressful. So having it in one place, master and composition side, I'll circle back around to contracts. So that's collaborators, links. You can just put in any link that you want. So potentially if you want, you know, like, oh, look at these reference tracks that we're using, chuck them in there, just handy to have in one place. Again, I think what Boombox does really well is it's just merging everything together. You don't have to jump around from application to application. It's just all of your files, your links, your messages, your contracts in one place. So messages, we can chat, hello. And then other team members can comment, you know, the people that are the collaborators in this project file. Tasks, also really cool. You just add in a, you know, mix the song description, mix the song, assignee, and then a due date, say next week. and drag it across and done. Simple little task manager system inside the context. It's just all in one place. Your collaborators see it, you see it, get stuff done. In settings is where you can add in your cover photo if you like. Now I uploaded it before into the actual files, but I probably should have just chucked it as the cover. You can set the genres here, tags, name of my song is, I think a city built on dreams maybe. UPC, ISRC, catalog number, release date, just all of the details that you need in one place. I'd love to be able to show you the contract, but I can't because this is just me, but generating contracts, super easy. Click it, click it, boom, you're off. Contract time, how good. Playlist is really helpful. It's what SoundCloud was doing. It's what Sampley was doing. It just allows you to put all of your songs in one place, whether that's for a single artist or like a reel of songs that you want to send to a playlist picture or to a potential artist that you're going to want to work with. So new playlist, again, test, can add an image, description, create playlist. And then if I type in just say incognito mode and I search it, We've got a few songs here. I can just kind of grab them in. And then I can play it. And there you go, you've got your playlist. I don't really feel like I need to dive too deep into the side of playlist. You can send music pretty much. Uh, you've got analytics, which is cool. It'll just show you, you know, how many tracks are getting played by a user if they're on the Boombox platform and you can leave timestamp reviews and then share it. Now, one of the things that I forgot again to sort of talk about was inside of the projects and file system, when you click on the actual song itself, it does a few things. First off, it has a auto BPM and auto key, which is super handy. It auto tags genres from like an AI kind of assessment, ambient, trip hop, beat down, experimental, down tempo, these things are all pretty accurate. That's what I would probably call this song. That sounds correct to me. Tags wise, guitar, mallet, like some of these aren't 100% accurate, but like the vibe is certainly there. I think genres is a little bit more interesting because how often do we spend so much time scratching our heads at Spotify for artists trying to figure out what genres to tag our songs with? These kind of tools just make life a little bit easier when we're dealing with those kind of activities, essentially. You've got a networking aspect, which is cool. You can manage your own profile and just give like your biography, what skills you have. 
producer, mixing engineer, top liner, the door, all of that. And then you can connect with other people. Karen Rod is a songwriter, a singer, and a vocalist. If I click, I can hire, listen to their tracks, hire them, or invite to a project if I have one already. Just a handy thing inside of the platform if you're looking for a very specific skill. It's kind of like sound better. I don't think it has like a payment processor on it, but you can kind of do that with PayPal or something else. But just having it on the platform, again, it's just, it's all there for you. It makes like life a little bit easier, a bit faster. I haven't really played with the network side too much from being honest, but I think there's definitely a lot of potential there, especially for collaborations, which is kind of the whole boombox world. There is also distribution, which is handy. I haven't used this. I'm happy with my distributor, but if you don't have a distributor and you're kind of getting ready to release stuff, amazing. 100% of your earnings you keep, you click continue and then you'll go and sign in. And so you've got a dashboard, add a new release. So when you release, you can put in all of the details you need, the artwork, stereo tracks, track details. You can check out your catalog, tracks, labels, artists, analytics, and then your payment portal where you can check out how much money you've made and get payouts. Now, a few extra little bits and bobs. It does have a app for your phone, which you can like run playlists off. You can check out your files. So really cool to have. I think you can do the voice memo stuff as well. Just handy to have, right? If you're on the go and you have an idea for that song that you're working on, jump into the project file, ka -chow. So I'll quickly jump on the phone app. It's pretty much the exact same as when you're on the file side. You can see your requests, Scrapbox projects. If I click on projects, incognito mode, I can see the chords, I can go to work in progress, a city built of dreams. All of the information is here. This pulls up the player. I can download it, comment, share it. A lot of options. There's also record overdub, which is cool. You can, you know, sing on top of a beat and then have it there. That's like an amazing feature if you don't have a proper studio or a proper door set up. Playlists is cool because if you want to listen to your mixes in the car, for instance, it's all there. You can play it have analytics you can make it as pretty as you like it looks quite nice when you play if i want to leave a comment this is sick turn the bass down and if i jump back to the computer and i go onto that mix i can see my little comment here so for revision sake that's awesome, just have it like time stamped, six seconds, turn the bass down, great. Back to the phone, you've also got messages, so fairly your social interactions, whether that's with collaborators or with future collaborators, again, all in one place, amazing. There's also a Mac app and that just mirrors the files compartment of Boombox, so you can have your projects, your requests, everything there, pretty awesome. You can just chuck your door files, your bounces, everything in one place and it just is constantly kind of linking between the two. One thing that I'm really looking forward to in the future, hopefully, is the ability to online and offline different files. Right now, it's just whatever's up there is getting downloaded. So if you don't have a lot of space, that might be problematic because you know you can't online something. So making it only on the cloud or offline and online, it's a minor thing, but I think once Boombox does introduce that, if they introduce that, incredible, that'll make life a bit easier as well now pricing wise it's actually very 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 well priced you've got the free plan which has 25 ai credits four gigabytes total space as many projects as you want timestamp comments pretty much a lot of the good features are there in the free plan basic at two dollars and eight cents a month which is really not a lot of money you get 500 gigabytes of storage playlist creation ad free sharing and 25 ai credits $7 a month, these are on discount from $3, $10 and $20. But the $7 plan, you get all of that, two terabytes, artist branding, file requests, password protected playlists. Like you can read the things that I'm reading out, but distribute unlimited releases for two artists, 100 monthly credits. Like that's really good. Think about two terabytes of total storage space. Like that's Dropbox and Dropbox costs double that. And you get all that other stuff with it. $13 a month, you get three terabytes, distribute unlimited releases for unlimited artists. So if you're a label, that's crazy. Just like really good pricing. Think about all the other competitors, Dropbox, Google Drive. Like if you just wanted these features, if you wanted this here, $7 a month. If I need Dropbox, Sampley and DistroKid, DistroKid is like $20 a year. So that's what, like $2 a month. Dropbox, I think is like 
I don't know, 10, 15 US, probably it's like 20 AUD. Sample is another 10 US. So this is like a third of the price of those. And that's just some of the platforms. There's other platforms as well. I think the main thing that I just really want to drive home is like value for money, Boombox, amazing. I feel like from a user perspective, the whole system's smooth. The integration between phone app, online and Mac app, works really well it's pretty simple like as i said it doesn't have the features like being out of online or offline things but it just kind of works you drag a file on and then it's up on the cloud and then you can share that pretty easily through the website these kind of features are simple but they get the job done i don't have to think too hard about how i'm going to get the file to you the artist that i'm working with i just upload and then share it the playlist side is good too it runs it does the job two things that i'm kind of keen for on that front as well is lossless audio and the ability to download offline again offline onto your phone so that you don't have to like stream it and the lossless would just be an added bonus just to make it sound a little bit crispier essentially because you, you might not want extra compression but aside from those two things and those are two pretty minor things this platform is solid if you're looking to consolidate your costs and also just have a really good platform i think this might be the app for you you can also import from dropbox as a beta function right now which is cool there's probably a few things that I've missed here, but there is a ton of features. It's got a really cool community. You can get feedback on your music from some of the pros that exist in the space. And it's just a great tool for making music, sharing music, collaborating with music. So I'd definitely check it out. There's a link below to go sign up to try the free plan, four gigabytes for free. Might as well give it a shot and see if you enjoy it. And if you do, it's pretty easy to transfer over from something like Dropbox and it's cheaper. I didn't know who Boombox were or what they did before they reached out to me. But after being reached out to and diving in, checking out these features, it's just a no brainer, really. It's great. So if that sounds like you, check it out. And thank you for watching. Catch you next video. Have a good one. Goodbye.